All right, welcome to our spelling netcast. Make sure that you're prepared with your zip top bag, your scissors, make sure you've got your pencil ready, a little bit of glue, and your spelling notebook, and of course, your spelling words. All right, what I need you to do is I need you to get these cut out. So go ahead and pause the video and cut them out. All right, so you got your words all cut out now. Um, remember, what we need to do is we take the title up here. We're going to put a little glue on the top. Make sure that you get enough on there. And then we're going to glue that on the top of the page. Make sure you have that. And then what I like to do is I like to, to put this. I don't cut these yet because I want to use those so I can write out my exemplars. So I'm going to put these usually about two down, move all my words out of the way, and we're going to start over here with PATH, P-A-T-H, go ahead and underline that, and we got S-E-N-S -S and S-E-N-T, go ahead and underline that, We've got M-E-D and M-E-D-I, underline those, and then we have S-O-L. So we're going to talk about these. Um, as we practice our spelling, I will say the word aloud, then I will make each sound in the word and then write it. I want you to repeat the words, making each sound in the word. Okay? Um, now that I've gotten those writ out, written out, I'm going ahead and cut those. So you can do your sorts later on with those. Go ahead and put those right into your spelling bag so that you've got those for later. <clears throat> All right. Now, the better we come, become at spelling, the better readers and writers we will be. So make sure you write everything I write. Got it? All right. You can pause the video anytime you want. So let's see what we got here. What we're going to be talking about is we're going to talk about path, sense, and scent, med, medi, and soul. So let's start out with um, let's start out with path, and we're going to go with uh, this. Path means suffering, or it's actually um, become extended to mean disease. So our path, and remember, this is just a a Greek and Latin root. So we also have different meanings of path. But when we put it with other words, it means something a little bit different. Um, suffering also, it could mean feeling or emotion. So as we look at some of these words, you're going to notice some of these. Now, we're going to start out with sympathy. Sympathy. Write it. Sim. Path E. We're going to underline the path in there. Now, sympathy often gets mixed up with empathy. M Path E. Empathy. Um, because if you're if you're empathetic or if you have empathy, you feel like someone is feeling and you've experienced what they have felt. So if you have empathy, you've done, you, you've come up with the same problem or you feel exactly the way they have felt before. Sympathy just means that you feel sorry for them. You never had it happen, but that is what sympathy and empathy mean. Don't get those mixed up. You can feel sorry for somebody, but don't say I have empathy for them if you've never been through the same situation. All right, so that's empathy. Now let's look at three other words. We're going to look at these three. We're going to look at apathy, telepathy, and antipathy. So we're going to go, we're going to do apathy, apathy. We're going to do telepathy, telepathy. We got path. Then we got antipathy, antipathy. 
We're going to start. We're going to work on that one also. Okay. All right. So if we look at these three words: apathy, telepathy, antipathy. I think that's how you say it: is antipathy. Um, these have literal meanings, which means apathy means without feeling. So apathy means no feeling, basically. Then you have telepathy is feeling from far away. Tele means to bring things closer, right? Okay. And then you've got antipathy, which means against feeling. So you've got apathy, telepathy, and antipathy that all have to do with feelings or emotions. All right. So there's our first set of uh, words. Now let's go into let's go into scent. We'll do scent for next. All right. So let's uh, let's see what we got here. Scent is actually means sense as in feeling you sense something all right so let's see what we got here we got sensation sensation so what does sensation mean sensation is a physical feeling when something comes in contact with the body so when you don't, I was going to say, poke yourself out, you have a ouch sensation. An ouch sensation? Ouch. Don't poke yourself. Don't do it. Okay? When uh, you get burned, you have a burning sensation. Um, when you get a sunburn, you have a heat sensation. It, it feels hot and warm. So that is a feeling sensation on um, your skin. Well, it says come in contact with the body. So I guess when the sun touches your skin, it makes it feel hot. So it has a heat sensation. All right. Now here's another one. Dissent. D-I-S. Scent. Dissent. Now, dissent is a sense, um, but it also could mean something a little bit different. Sometimes it refers to an opinion. So you have a sense or a feeling or an opinion. You have a feeling about something. All right, that's what sensation is. But dissent means you have an opinion or a feeling about something. So dissent means literally to express opinions that are different than others. So you, if you are in dissent or you dissent in their ideas, if you have a dissension among you, that means you have differing opinions. And that's okay. It's not wrong to have different opinions. All right, so we got dissent. Now let's get into med. I bet you guys know what med means. It means to heal. Med or medi means to heal. So, and what it really means is, which is interesting, med means to measure. Wow. It means to measure. So what is that? How does measuring have to do with healing? Well, when doctors attempt to heal someone, they literally mean they take appropriate measures. They take appropriate measures. Isn't that interesting? So when we look at something for med, we've got med i sin. Medicine, which is something to heal. Right? Right? All right. But now we have a couple other ones that are interesting. We've got a oh, remedy. Remedy. We've got M-E-D right in the middle. Remed. Or to heal again. So re means again. So we're re-healing. So a remedy means to heal. Re-heal. 
So if we give you a remedy, that means you want to heal again. And here's an interesting one. We've got Medevac. Med-e-vac. And this is actually two different words that are put together. It's called a blended word. And it comes from medical, which means to heal, and evacuation. So we've got medical, and we've got evacuation. And evacuation means to get out of there. So we want to evacuate people that are in medical attention. So we have a med evac. That's kind of cool. All right. Next one we've got, or our last one, is S-O-L. Okay? Soul. Soul. And soul means alone. And isn't that interesting that we read Weasel and it says, because Molly said, Does it, nobody really wants to be alone. So they don't want to be so low. And now we're not talking Han Solo. We're talking so. And see, and I wonder why his name is Han Solo. Because he likes to work alone? Well, he's got Chewbacca, but that's another story. All right, so we've got Soul, Solo, by themselves. All right. Oh, here's another one. Solitude, solitude, solitude is the same kind of thing where it means a, a state of being alone, a state of being alone. So if you're in solitude, that means you are by yourself, right? And then we've got, of course, a lot of people's favorite game to play solitaire and what is solitaire it is a game that is played by one person by themselves wow that's kind of cool all right so here's your beginning of all your stuff here of all your words make sure that you get through and and finish the rest of these, all right? Remember to read the word as you're saying it, spell the word, and then write it in the correct sort, all right? We're doing Greek and Latin words. Path, suffering, sense, sense, sensing, feelings, opinions, med, to heal, measure, and soul means alone. You can do this solo, but you can also work with a friend if you need to. All right, good luck, get it done. See ya.